Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Today I have made a lovely little box. It's about six and a half inches tall and it's about an inch and a half square. And it just, um, it's long but it has a wee short lid on it. And inside it's holding a nice uh, room spray. Which thought I had this, I had this wee room spray, I had picked it up in the shops ages ago with the intentions of making something nice for it. So finally got round to it. And uh, on this one I have used a very vanilla card along with the Garden Ex Garden Expressions Im Garden Impressions, sorry, DSP. And I got a new stamp set there called Pop of Petals. It comes um with lovely flowers and a matching punch. I love matching punches. I just love it because you can just do it at your desk and get on with it, you know, rather than having to get up to your machine. So this works perfectly for me and I really liked it and I did a bit of uh, watercolouring on the flowers and just added some gems just to decorate it up and added a lovely bit of, I got these recently too, you get the Grapefruit Grove end as well. They're called Nature's Twine and there's lovely colours in them. So it all worked out nicely for me. But I am saying that I am going to do a different colourway this time just to show you that the very vanilla will work with a lot of things. I got a big uh, packet of the very vanilla and I have sort of ignored it a wee bit and I, I'm sorry I have because I could actually watercolour and all. So long as you're not spending too much time on it, you will be able to watercolour. So let's do this and see how it looks. Um, you're going to need for your base of your box you're going to need a piece of very vanilla measuring six and a half by eight and two eighths you're going to need four strips these of DSP and using the in colors which has a lovely selection of colors I actually snipped one accidentally I'm hoping I can get away with it and um, you need four strips of those um, I'm just checking one and two eighths by six inches long, which works perfectly with six by six inch papers. And for your lid, you just need a wee bit measuring four and five eighths by four and five eighths. So we'll start doing our uh, scoring first for the base. So on the short side, we'll start well short side. This is the length of the box. So you need to score at one and a half. Three inches, four and a half, and six inches. So just swivel it round and score at one and a half. And on this one, I'm going to add an extra score because I want to fold it in to give the rim of the box a wee bit more, make it sturdier. If that makes sense to you, you'll see it when I go to do it. Um, so score at seven and six eighths. And that just gives you that wee rim there. So that's that scoring done. Now we we'll want to um, do our cutting. So at the bottom, this is going to be your bottom. So you just want to slit these up. You'll see I'm sure, yeah, you can see it there, okay. Sorry about the big shadow, but you can see it. I'll fold that up just so you get better look at it. Just cut them straight up to that first uh, score line. Vanilla is hard to work with, same as the white. I suppose all colours are hard to work with on this screen. But I'm even having bother seeing this myself today. So you can take that wee end tag off if you don't need it. At the top, we're not cutting these off. Oh, well, actually, we'll, we'll cut the you know, wee tiny square you have up here. Cut it off. So, we'll do our score now. And fold that rim down at the top. And then do these. Okay. 
Now, this is just all going to fold, and I'm keeping that down, so I might actually just put a bit of tape runner on it. Just to keep it in place. And that's going to give me a good sturdy rim at the top because that's the part that's going to take the abuse. So we want to um, put our tape now. Our, sorry, I got distracted with that wee beep. I thought I had it turned off, but of course I haven't. And it's a family WhatsApp and there I know somebody's supposed to put it and they're all going to come commenting and pop my head away and your head probably. So we'll see what happens. So seed your box up. Do that wee ridge. Bring it along and you can see the good sturdy top now we have. So we want this where we put the crease, we want that to be our back. So we'll just pop those two over and then yeah, that's the back. So we'll do that one there. Just put a wee skim, you don't really need it, but it just keeps that from flapping about. Whoops! So be glad when you have your, your bottle of stuff in there. Keeps everything better for you. Now, put a bit on this one because this will be your final one. So there we have, that's the box. So, oh, sugar me timbers. I was supposed to put my, oh, too busy. Thinking of other things, miles ahead of my own brain. So I wanted to put these on. Of course, it's easier, obviously, putting it on when it's flat. But there you have it. Isn't stripes nice on the other side anyway? You can still, I haven't ruined it. You can still do it, but flip me pink. I'm getting worse with age, I really am. But it's going to work, isn't it? Yeah. Just make sure you get your top. See in there. Make sure you do put lots of glue to the top. Because your lid's going to be sliding on and off and you don't want to catch in your DSP all the time. So it'd be better if it's nice. Flat, which we could have done if we'd have done it first. So do your edges rather than your middle, just to make sure that they're nice and smooth. Isn't that spotty paper cute? And this will make a nice fresh container. You could put different things in it. I'm sure you'll find something and you can adjust the length if you have 12 12 papers you could go a bit taller this is a4 so it's not going to go much taller now this is the one where I accidentally cut on my guillotine old twit I'm gonna have to take that off and hope for the best don't look at that bit I was using it as a wee measure on the guillotine, of course, I slipped the end of it, so stop doing that, that wasn't a good idea. Rather than leave himself full of pencil marks, you know, it's just laziness really. I was cutting these out. But hopefully I've put it to the back of the box, have I? Well, say, that's even better. See, just that wee neck, isn't that awful? I might go back and change that if I'm giving this to somebody or if I'm only keeping it for myself, I'm not worry. So just make sure you get your tops nicely. Because you'll see the way the lid slides on and off, it will catch if you haven't done it properly. Your box more or less done you just need to decorate it with the flowers but we'll do the lid first and get that out of the way 
So for your lid, get your piece of card and we're going to score it at one and a half inches and just keep turning it and do one and a half on all sides, all four sides. I was tempted to put DSP on the lid as well, but I think the cream just stands out nice if you leave well alone. So that's all four sides cut and again we just want to cut up our wee seams, but we're going to turn it as we cut it. So cut one there, turn it, always cut the one at the left and only one on that edge. So keep turning it, do one and turn until you've all four done. Now we're actually going to tuck them in like this. So you know which ones you're tucking in. Take a wee skim, a wee triangle, and that'll give it a neater finish. It'll not show on the outside, hopefully. If you think it needs it, if you're holding it and you're happy enough, don't bother. But if you need it, do it. helps to give it a wee lighter finish. And it's a good sturdy box then because you can still keep those, don't cut them away completely and that'll leave you uh, a good sturdy hold. So now we will add a wet glue. this part work as quickly as you can if you're using this glue because can look at how quickly that sticks. Okay. Come on. This one has to slip inside. So a good way to make sure that you have it all nice and square, square is the important part, is actually put it on your box and then squeeze your and that gives it a better finish and then adjust it so you know which is the back and which is the front. Now we're simply going to put a wee bit of this lovely Nature's twine. Just wrap it round. Give yourself enough to tie a wee bow. Goodness me. In my own way here. I love the colour of this grapefruit grove. It's such a wee sunny wee colour. I think it's lovely for even wee babies things as well. It's just a lovely colour. So just chop that off and that gives you a wee badly tied bow. 
to see why I use my bow maker now. So anyway, it's done. So we'll put that out of the way now and we'll get our flowers. So keep your scrap, your leftover bit that was with the, at the end of your wee lid. And we're going to use this stamp, which is this one. You can use any you like actually. But, and your grapefruit grove. Let's hope we've enough ink on that. Just stamp three of them off. There we go. Try and match this up and just pop it back in. Keeps it all safe. Now we need a wee bit of ink. So I'm going to use my block here and just put a wee bit onto it. It's too much, way too much, but it'll work. And get yourself a wee paintbrush and a wee tiny pot of water. And just dip your brush in and wet, really wet, because this is not um, water, watercolour paper. But if you work quickly, you can do it and just don't put too much colour on it. It's just a wee bit there. Just to add a wee bit of colour to it. It's very intense, this grapefruit grove. See what I mean? And then just let it dry. I'll zoom in for you maybe, just to let you get a better look at that. So I have really wet that. There's lots of water there, but I also bring in enough ink so that it's not fully water that you're putting on your wee flower and just flick it out. And you could use your water again and go over that and water off the edges but I'm not going to bother because it's simply it's not um, watercolour paper so it won't take too much abuse you don't want to be in there too long but it does just get them a wee lift have enough ink on there to paint 40 flowers for flip's sake. Uh, you could get away with leaving your center and putting a wee tiny pearl in but I'm actually going well, I was going to put those in, but they don't, they're not really a good match. So I maybe will just go with a wee tiny pearl. One of these wee ones. Yeah, it's kind of a peachy colour at the top there. It will do that. So I will put a wee drop into the petals here. And just let the pearl sit in the middle of that. And that should be it. I'll close this water because tragedy will happen. Put my ink in there. So now you'll want to punch these out. And we shake, make sure they're dry. We'll move it back out a wee bit. Now, this is the punch is called the four petal flower punch. So just slide it in there and line it up. I might be facing the wrong way for that one and that one. There is a way it goes and you will see it once you hover over it. You won't have much luck. So if you're not having much luck like me, divide them up. And then you can put them in 
single the right position. There must be a wee marker on that, you know, and I haven't even noticed. It's not good, you should. Sorry about this. I think I've found it now. Yep. So we know the flower goes that way, so I'm going to pipe the other ones, which is this way. Use your finger and line it up. And the last one. No, that's it. Now you can give your flowers a wee bit of a shape, preferably if they're dry. Just go the other way. Usually I crease them up, but I don't like the creases coming in this card. So that should be alright. Just gives them a wee bit of shape. And add your wee pearl, just the very centre. These are the artisan share with you love pearls. And I think that colour there is pretty nice for it. Just sitting in the middle to take away a wee bit of that plainness. Oops. Mind if it's in that one. Yep. Nice. So now we need um, a small storage I made the other day from a um, Dimensionals. I'm so pleased with it. Just works perfectly for me because I am always hunting. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? So just pop one on the back. And then pop it on. Actually, I'm going to put the heavier one to the bottom. And just work your way up the box. And it just breaks that on the end of the sheet, so I'm saving these wee bits. Maybe do the top one first. Then we'll know to go in the middle. They are cute wee flowers, aren't they? There's wee butterfly end as well, which I'm happy about. So that's it. That is that wee box done. Where's that other one? So you can see the difference in the colours. Um, I think I've made that too wobbly at the top there. I'm going to have to adjust that. But that is it. Make yourself a box, use the nice colours, get this, I think this is really, it, it really is nature-y looking, isn't it? It's, it adds that wee bit of, oh, I can't think of the word I'm looking, but I'm sure you know what I mean. I think if I had a bottle in that box, it would sit much better. So I hope you like that. It is um, lovely papers, lovely punch, lovely stamp set. I am really pleased at having ordered that one. So if you need anything, you know, all the details and measurements will be on the blog, all the links to anything you need. And if you're, if you're new to my channel and liked what you see, I'd love you to subscribe. I will get better as I'm going along. I'm only, like, I'm doing this now about, I'd say, nearly six months. So I'm really enjoying it. And if any of you fancy joining me, just give me a shout. And I'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.